All right, today we're going to take a look at using a die stock to cut threads in uh, or on bar stock over in the Tyler Metal Shop. Uh, this is a process by which you can basically turn any piece of round bar into a threaded rod or a threaded bolt. And we use a, uh, a die, uh, in this case it's one of these little guys, and we hold him in a die stock, which is one of these, and uh, then we basically cut the threads on our bar stock. First thing we're going to want to do is determine the diameter of our bar stock. So right here I've got a quarter inch piece of bar stock. Um, I've got this little hook that I bent up on the Hosfeld bender and so I want to thread it on here so that I can thread it onto another part. So here uh, you know I have a hole that I tapped with a uh, tap and a tap wrench in an earlier video and so we're going to try and achieve threading this uh, piece here in the same thread, the quarter twenty thread to fit that that hole down there. So um, first thing you should know is that we do have a tap and die set over in the um, metal shop and it's kept in with the bits uh, over here and here is your uh, all your various die stocks and on here is printed uh, with each one it'll tell you NC20 and then uh, that basically means that it is, uh, and there's a little quarter inch mark there, so it's printed quarter inch, 20 threads per inch is the NC20, and that'll tell you that this is a 20 thread um, pitch or a, a count of 20 threads per inch, and then it's for a quarter inch piece of material. You thread that into the die stock and you're ready to rock and roll. Uh, if you're trying to determine how many threads per inch uh, you're trying to match, we've got a little thread gauge in here. You can also grab one of the taps and read off his numbering there. So that's what you have available in the Tyler shop. Um, we also have that large, um, that large set here, which is a little nicer uh, for when you're using larger uh, taps. And um, this guy's a little bit different. Here's your larger die stock. And what's kind of nice about this, um, the dies are adjustable. So um, I don't know if I can get that guy to focus, but um, you can see that these jaws can kind of slide in and out to give you a, either a deeper or a more shallow thread and then they're adjustable by these little screws on either side which kind of drive them in and out so they're more adjustable. They also have a longer guide here to help you stay straight on your bar. So this guy and all these guys are printed with there. So for example this one says half and C13 so that's a half inch diameter, 13 threads per inch you would go in the die stock. So we're just doing a small guy here. I'm going to use uh, my own set which is virtually identical to the ones that you guys are, are rolling with over there. I've pulled out the die here that has printed. I'm sure you can't see it on the video. It says quarter 20 there and uh, I've got these little dimples on the die. I'm going to correspond those little dimples to the threads or to the locations of these little screws. And then the next thing I'm going to note here is on these smaller dies, you're going to, um, maybe I can get a shot of it here, but you'll see that on one side the threads aren't fully cut into it uh, versus the other. So here the threads start right away and here they kind of taper in. So that's the side I want to feed in from first. And then you'll also notice that on my uh, piece of bar stock I've chamfered it and I basically um, beveled the edge there. That'll allow making this guy uh, go a little bit easier. So I want to start on the partially threaded pieces and then feed that on there like so. So let's put this in the, our part in a vise so it doesn't spin around on us. And I'll try and give you guys a better shot. This hook makes it a little bit easier um, being as it's got a, uh, a slight uh, bend to it so it's not going to turn around on the vise for me. And now I'm also going to throw a little bit of oil on my part and with that oil on the part I'm going to find that same tapered part of my die there and start with that one. Very similar to the uh, cutting a thread with a um, with a tap, you want to make sure that you're perpendicular to your part. So you want to make sure that this uh, die stock stays level and perpendicular and then we're going to use with our initial uh, strokes here um, a fair amount of downward pressure as we're doing that. So I'm pushing down and threading this guy on and hopefully with uh, within the first few um, strokes there uh, it'll grab and once it grabs you don't have to use that downward pressure too much anymore. And then you'll notice that I break the chips back every, I don't know, 
quarter half turn. Whenever I feel a little excess resistance, I'll come back here and break the chips. Uh, you can usually hear a slight snapping noise from the chips breaking off in there. And you basically just work your die stock down, making sure that it stays perpendicular. And as needed, you can back it off. You can even add a little extra dab oil or two on there and just make sure that your part gets uh, threaded thoroughly. So once you've, you've gone down as far as you feel necessary, you can back this guy off, try and catch him so he doesn't fall. And if we want a square shoulder, remember we don't have full threads all the way to the bottom there, we can kind of flip him around and just finish those last few threads. And so that's a good little trick there if you don't want to have a bunch of partially cut threads on the end of your part sticking out of your, your object. Now remember, you're not going to do a whole lot of cutting down, you're just trying to complete those last couple of threads. So a couple of turns and I'm good there. Now we'll feed this guy off carefully and hopefully we've got our threads cut accurately and I'll just clean them up with a little rag, maybe a little bit of air blown into it. And then here's our threads, our threaded part. And then here's our other threaded hole that we did earlier. And now you can see that we can thread that guy on. And those threads go pretty much right to the shoulder. And now we've got our part threaded on there. So no threads showing. Fair amount of clearance on the back side there. And uh, you now have a threaded hole. So that is using a die stock to thread holes. Um, and that hole was threaded, or rather a die stock to thread uh, bars with. And um, always clean up your parts. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, uh, make sure you ask the shop technician um, and hopefully the gear uh, will be complete. Uh, always use oil, keep things perpendicular. And really, you can only use the appropriate size die stock for the material you're using. You can't go and use a quarter inch die on a half inch piece of bar stock. It's just not happening. So um, go carefully, go slowly, use oil. Good luck.